I still come across people claiming the notion that the front squat is more athletic than the back squat. Let's examine this notion. To me, athleticism is a human that is proficient in running, jumping, and changing direction. But obviously this isn't all encompassing for the sports of snowboarding, mountain biking, skateboarding, etc. are also very athletic, yet don't involve running or jumping. They do involve high levels of timing and coordination. So let's add those to our definition of athleticism. I'm sure I'm forgetting a few too. If we're looking at athleticism as the display of those qualities, the front squat nor the back squat really require any level, high level in any of those qualities. There certainly is some timing and coordination needed, but compared to athletic movements displayed on a field, they're very minimal at best. We could maybe stretch out and say that the Olympic lifts are athletic lifts, for they do involve very high levels of timing, coordination, explosiveness, if we were to add that to our definition of athleticism. So I would hear out someone claiming the Olympic lifts to be very athletic, but not the back squat or the front squat. Another way to think about this is power lifters who are probably the strongest back squatters and possibly front squatters in the world. I wouldn't claim many of them to be athletic unless they're training other qualities like running or jumping. Now, is the front squat more conducive to improving athletic qualities than the back squat? Maybe this is a more interesting question, but I would say the answer is no. What is the point of training to improve athleticism? The point of training is to improve the internal environment, i.e. the human, to display higher level skill on the field. This means we're trying to augment for the better qualities like maximal strength, rate of force development, in order to become better on the field. The front squat certainly isn't better than the back squat of those. I would in fact say it's worse. Most people can back squat much more than they can front squat, meaning the back squat better trains uh, maximal force than the front squat. Is the front squat positioning carry over to athletics better than the back squat? I wouldn't say so. Sure, some people's torsos are more upright in the front squat than the back squat, but what does that have anything to do with athletics? Most people are hinged over in athletics or are constantly changing their position. So I just don't see any reasoning why the front squat is considered more athletic than the back squat or trains athleticism better than the back squat.